Here's the Friday night with Egg Digger with the Tempest uh, downstairs. It's booming upstairs, it always is, but we like to come down here for a little bit of uh, quiet, uh, a nice drink, and to talk about the weekend's action. And it is uh, FA Cup. Gentlemen, mm -hmm. I can't figure out what I want to do here, Ian. Uh, it's not up to me, so I don't know why I'm up nights, but uh, but I am. Because uh, <laughs> I, I understand the argument of, you know, oh, there's a lot going on this season. We've got a cup semi final on Wednesday. We're top of the league unexpectedly. We all want to get to Dublin. Maybe this is the season where, <coughs> you know, you you you're quite happy to sort of leave the FA Cup. Maybe heavily rotate and I sort of get that. I don't really like the way the FA Cup sort of spoken about, certainly by Liverpool fans. But but you know, I can I can come on board with it. But then part of me just thinks, yeah, but what if you like? You're third in April, resolutely third. You know, something's happened in the Europa League, you've sort of gone out, and then you're watching other teams in the FA Cup saying, oh, we could have had a bit of goal there. I don't know. I, I, I swing both ways. And then I also think, oh, they've got a big rest after Fulham. Um, where are you? Um, I'm disputing the unexpectedly bit. Because I'm not unexpected <laughs> to be top of the league at all. I'm, I'm, I'm thoroughly expected to be top of the league. on this bandwagon um, for a long time. I've, 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 I've heard you on some I'm shows. Full, I'm fully invested on this one. Um, ahead, of, ahead of what schedule, I think I heard you yeah, say. There are no schedules. No one's got a schedule. And someone made the very good point afterwards that, oh, Virgil and Mo won't think there's a schedule that involves them winning things next year or the year after because they want it now. So just win every, win every game? Win every game. Just go and win every game, see what happens at the end of it. Um, I was very much sort of, I'm not asked about the <coughs> FA Cup. I was, at the start of the season, wanted to win the league and the UEFA Cup because we won't get any other chance to win the UEFA Cup because we won't intend to be in it again. Yeah. So I'd like both of those because it's the one the Klopp hasn't got. It's, it's the, the only trophy he hasn't got out of like, the world of football trophies. <laughs> I want the league because it was going to annoy everybody how good we were going to be. Now that we're in the semi-finals of the Carabao, obviously I won the Carabao because that's a trophy. And it's the trophy that you win first and sets you up for everything else. So it's kind of like I'm not asked about the FA Cup. Really not asked about the FA Cup. But now. Now it's here. It's now the it's next here. Thing. I want all four. I want all four <laughs> trophies. I want a quadruple. I want, I want to piss City off to the point where they're having to go, yeah, but it's not the quadruple, is it? Yeah, but you haven't won the quadruple either, have you? So I want all four trophies just to annoy everybody else because everybody hates us at the moment anyway. So everybody's decided that the Premier League is set up for us to win it because it's always been that way, obviously. Can you imagine, by the way, someone with all sincerity trying to talk down a quadruple and go, well, actually, I think you'll find that that's not me. <laughs> it's really not the quadruple. You <laughs> <quadruple. laughs> didn't win the anything. right European <laughs> trophy. I think you'll find. So your four trophies don't actually mean that much. Someone would do that as well. Someone would. It'd yeah. be a city fan. You'd be going, well, let's, let's look at charge 104. <laughs> <laughs> it, it would feel a bit like... So we we'll go. Well, you didn't. She wasn't a supermodel, you think? She was only an eight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm with Ian. I'm, I'm with you. I, I, I want. I want to win it. I, I grew up. You know, when I, I, I didn't have the privilege of, of watching Liverpool live growing up, and the FA Cup was one of those things. You know, and they used to have it. It was on all day, wasn't it? The they final, had like a, yeah, the yeah. final was like an all day affair. Cameras on the bus. Yeah, and they used to. They'd interview everyone before the game. The managers. The big. You know, there was a real sense of kind of fanfare about it, and as someone who grew up in a you know a little rural town and didn't really you know have have, have access to you know big big games. And basically, the only live football you'd be seeing on television. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. So it's, it was a it was a big deal, and I don't think I've I don't think I've lost that kind of romanticism around the FA Cup, mm. and I'd love I'd I'd love for us to win it, and I think and I think we've got the squad, and I think we've I think I think given the Given the, where the match is for them, with the, with the break that we've got um, after it, you know, we've got a few days after. I, I, I think I think go for it because I, I, I think Arsenal will go for it as well. I expect them yeah, to go. Strong. They'll they'll yeah. go for it. He'll put out a strong side. I think they'll be stronger now than they were going to be because he's looking at things. Yeah, they going, want to bounce back. We need yeah, something. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's a free hit. But at the same time, I want to beat Arsenal because beating Arsenal weakens them. Mm. Well, I mean, it increases your chances of winning the FA Cup as well. Increases your chances of winning the, the FA Cup. To beat Arsenal out. Yeah, that, that's, that's always a good one, but it'll also weaken them in the league. Because they know that all they've got, basically, that they can win is the league or the FA Cup. So if you take the FA Cup away from them as well, their head starts again. Mm. Completely dismantling their Champions League hopes here, and I'd love to see well, it. Well, yeah, they're, they're, they're not winning the Champions League. I mean, they really to a final once, but uh, Sol Campbell scored. Um, how are you, Phil, with it all? You're going. I am, yeah. Does oh, that I, change your mindset on it, or would you be um, similar regardless? No, I think, I'm, I think I'm similar because I think if I walk out that ground and we've lost, I think I'll be like, well, okay, we can, we can focus on the other things now because I think 
anybody who says that at the minute this is higher than fourth choice in our priority list is probably yeah. Just yeah. not on the same level with yeah. me. You know, the league's won, the Europa League's two, the league cup final is three by virtue of the fact we're in the semi final. And it's against Fulham. And it's against no Fulham. Yeah. Good but, draw. At same, but, yeah. but at the same time, you win in the FA Cup, it might suddenly become number three by the next time you play in the FA Cup because you might have gone out the League Cup. Yeah. This is this thing you can't you can't just pick and choose what you win. Yeah, um, it's not like a. You don't just give. It's not like a way you can go. Well, I tell you what, we'll get knocked out the FA Cup, and then that means that we're more likely to beat Burnley next month. But it's, it's just not true, is it? It's not. It's just not how it works. So, I think the team is sort of what I'll take my main sort of feeling from. Like if he sticks, I think it'll probably be Van Dijk and Quanta at centre back with, with Fulham yeah. on um, with Fulham on Wednesday night, isn't it? And then. I'm expecting. Do you think Virgil will play both? I think Virgil yeah. will play both, yeah. yeah. I, think, I, I think. I think he'll pick he, himself. Yeah, exactly. He doesn't like. Yeah. He, he's never been load managed, has he? Whereas this season, he has been load managed because he hasn't played in most of the European games, if any. I don't know whether he played any, actually. Mm. Which means he's had six more weeks off, which for Virgil van Dijk is not. It's not normal. It's probably, the first time probably, the first, it's probably the first time. Yeah, probably is. And he raises the game of whoever exactly. he whoever's yeah, put exactly. next to him. You've got to think that Owen Beck's come back to play in this game. Yeah, one hundred percent. Left him where he was, and then you've got to assume that Trent's probably not going to play. You've got to take the opportunity to get him and Joe Gomez a rest. That's probably Conor Bradley. At yeah. Right back, which probably yeah. isn't as strong a defence as you would like to pick. But what it does mean is that the rest of the team will still be quite strong because you make two, three changes to midfield, you can still put a decent midfield out, you know, the likes of Elliot, the would likes you start of Curtis Jones. I would because I think you need at least an hour of football in him before before yeah. Fulham. I think it's a good opportunity to just get that. Be a bit mad just to throw straight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could, you could do that. I mean what you got about what, fifteen, twenty against? Yeah. yeah. Um, just, I just, uh, some pass like I, yeah. I, just, <laughs> I, just love, I just love watching him play football. I think his I think his passing is it's just outrageous his ability. There's there's few passes you've seen bits of in the the Salah's second goal against Everton where he sort of gets the ball on the edge of the box and he just sort of feeds it through to Nunes on halfway and he's just like how has he got the ball? Yeah, it wasn't a dissimilar pass to the um the Jota one from the other night, where but obviously Nunes is a bit deep and doesn't put through on goal, so it doesn't look doesn't look quite as good, but he's off balance and sort of threads the eye of a needle and I just think he's. I just think he's a fantastic footballer, and I'm, I'm delighted we've got him back. I think. I think, I, like, I've really liked Endo the last few weeks, and this isn't to talk down anything he's done, but there's sometimes he's been on the ball, and I've been a bit like, I just like a little, a little bit more. Little and more range of yeah, exactly. Mm. There's sometimes he's had the ball, and it's just a bit like, I sort of feel like over the course of if he played for another month, teams would sort of probably give him an easy time on the ball and cut his options off and make things yeah, more difficult you, you, kind of you can't that. do that with McAllister he's, he's not going to do the, no. the long diagonal no. or he will do occasionally yeah. Yeah. but not, not that's, that that sounds like I'm talking down I'm not it's just an, sort of an acceptance it's just that player, McAllister's just, just yeah. better than him on it's the ball it's a fair observation it's, I just think he's better than him on the ball and it's nice to, to have him back I think we've. I think there was some games towards the start of the month where we didn't play particularly well and we missed him so to be able to get him back into a big game is great I think I think if we had him on the pitch against Manchester United we we would have beaten them. I think yeah. been a bit cooler mm. on the ball. Yeah. I think it's his vision, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I think if he was there against Arsenal again, I think we possibly would have won. So nice to have him back, and you know, let's hope he's just had a, a little bit of rest and he's ready to go. So you picking him, Graham Birch and Elliot, or would you be tempted with Elliot wide right? I think I go Elliot in midfield. Okay, I just I, I think I think that possibly works a little bit better as a balance. I would also like. Them to do something that isn't Elliot on the right just to see if it works or not because you know Elliot can do that. Yeah. And if you want to use that against Fulham or against Bournemouth or, you know, hopefully that's only the only two teams that it's going to have to happen against, <laughs> you know, sorry. But he's um, thinking, yeah, yeah. yeah. Whereas if you do something else, you can look at it and go, well, maybe Diaz can go on the outside of a left yeah. back as well and, and just offer you something a little bit different because we're not used to, ultimately, we're not, like to we're, not bit of Diaz yeah, to we're not used to a, a right winger at the minute who's going, that side of a fullback, are we? And it might be that that opens the pitch up for the other attackers, and you, you just don't know what you're going to get. So mm. let's have a look. Because ultimately, while I want to win, doesn't it's not going to ruin me no. day, month, year if we do lose to Arsenal. But at the same time, you beat Arsenal, you've taken one of the main players out for the, the FA Cup, and you're into the fourth round. You might get you might get three easy draws, and all of a sudden you're in the semi final. Yeah, well that's it, isn't it, James? Because on on the draws, that's a really good point from Phil. Because just because the third round. This tricky doesn't necessarily mean that the, the next one will be. We've done a bit of a preview for 
uh, the audio on, on sort of Friday night, which is available for free to listen to as well. And you know, you're looking at some of the other ties and thinking, well, you take the winner of that, you know, in, in, in sort of you know round four. I spoke to Humphrey Kerr from Wrexham, and you know, it shows me Wrexham is League One, middle mid table League One versus the top of sort of League Two. You know, whoever gets through. You know, from that obviously home for was over it, it was it was Wrexham. You know, you get that in the home one where you you know, realistically you can you can you can rotate and, and sort of stuff like that. And so it's not gonna be this hard forever. So the idea of oh, you know, we need to you know, we, we rest them now so we get a break later. Well if you get a nice tie, you you, you get a break anyway. Yeah, absolutely. I, am I right in thinking that there could be a replay? Yeah. Yes. Nonsense. Jesus. Nonsense. Well, that, I, that's one to keep an eye on because I think I think yeah, you might just go, Oh well I'm not coming and neither neither <laughs> <laughs> and It'll end up being like it was at Shrewsbury, Villa a few Shrewsbury, years ago. Shrewsbury. Shrewsbury. Yeah. Shrewsbury. Yeah. Yeah. We, we played literally the under twelve apparently. We, what, sorry? we literally well, we can't, can't but they'll have, to, they'll have to cut short the, 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 this break, so they, they yeah. keep doing this, which is why you keep it go, oh, you're going to get a winter break, and then this, the, the oh, small we'll bit is, unless, unless but the, but the something, the something reasonably predictable to happen happens, yeah. it's like a, there's a one in three chance. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a difficult, it's difficult though, because the, re, the replay, if, 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 if you are one of the lower league teams, that favours them because they get the, the gate receipts for that. But for the for, for teams like us, it's a nightmare. Yeah. So it kind of it sort of devalues the cup a little bit, doesn't it? It's I don't think they're great for them either, to be honest. Do like, you not I think, think the best example of, the, the resource, best example against yeah, replays yeah. is there's a team about six miles up the road in Crosby who got to the third round of the FA Cup and played Tottenham in a season when there was no replays. Yeah. And it has completely and utterly revolutionised the club. They're nearly on the verge of it. The they area. might get two promotions after that. Mm. Yeah. And they've put a 4G pitch down, which is a, like a genuine community asset. Yeah. And then you've got people going, oh, wouldn't it be great if they went and got some gate receipts and got beat 6 now? Well, mm. probably not. Mm. Like, is that not better? It just, it, it gets my... It gets my goat on level with you, John. <laughs> Go your gears. We'll have a little bit of a break. Eh? Phil's going to have a rant. Um, <laughs> and then we'll be back eh, finishing off the team and, and looking ahead to what should be a great weekend of football. And Erdinger, please. Don't forget the best bit. Up front then, Ian. Yeah. Um, he's got four good options. Um, you know, there's others if he wants to be a little bit, bit sort of saucy on it. I wonder whether he'll always pick a front three for for Fulham and then sort of, you know, work backwards a little bit from that or, or he'll approach this. Someone has to play on that right hand side. I quite like the Diaz option, I'd like to sort of see him there, but we never have, I think as well. He give the left back something to think about. You were like, oh, <laughs> shit, I've not played against him before. Especially, um, sorry, especially with how their left back plays as well in terms of if it's not Zinchenko, it's probably going to be that Kivor, I think is his name, who still comes in size and does all the inverted stuff. Right, okay. So. That's so, not so, going to be so fun if you've got Lewis Diaz trying to get on the outside. Yeah, so there'll it? be space out there. And if the fullback's going, right, have you got any tapes of me to watch him? I've <laughs> <laughs> never done it before. That's <laughs> yeah, up when he was 14. Um, yeah, I mean, it'd be good, lovely to see Jotter on the pitch, you know, the managing him, but he's had two good subs of appearances yeah. now. You sort of all lead up uh, to a start. Gakpo was in the goals last time out, which was great. And, and Darwin's Darwin, so nice options. It's, it's great options because it could literally be Diaz, Gakpo, Nunes. Or Jose Gakpo Nunes, or Diaz Nunes Jose. Yeah. We, can, we can do anything we like. Or Diaz Jose. Who cares? It could be anything. We'll change. Mm. We'll change. Whoever doesn't start will be on for the second half anyway. We'll probably yeah. get about twenty-five minutes. It's fantastic options. I, I personally would. I'd expect Jota to start on the right because he's done it before. And he did it a lot for Wolves, didn't he? So he's he's he knows the game. So he's played in front two, I think, for Wolves. So he's more front yeah. two. Yeah. That is another right. option as well, yeah. though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. you, you could you could play all four. Oof, I was going to say I'm just not two. Saying <laughs> all four. But in ten, when I say all four, you use Gap off the left, Diaz off the right, sort of two foot. Then, then Jota and Nunes is the front, the front two, and, and just go, go four, four, two, four, four, two. four two. More four four two. More I think. four two. Yeah. 
I do like this. It's a good thing about this football team at the minute, isn't it? There's so many options and so many ways you can do it. Like you think back four or five years, it was basically this is the team. Yeah, these might change one midfielder. Yeah, might change one midfielder, but this is what we're doing. But 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 we had the these shifts three up front. Yeah, the fourth is a really, but the drop offs are really. Yeah, it's exactly huge. No matter how much of a hero we made him, and the number of fantastic things he did for us, the drop off was massive. So now the drop off isn't as huge. The only drop off is from Mo. And the drop-off from Mo to the rest of the world is massive. So, yeah, yeah, you know, absolutely you, fair. You can't legislate for that at all. I would have thought that we'd have started Harvey as the wide right frontman, but I think he's more likely to be in midfield because we're missing spots right now. Mm, I can't see, awesome. can't see how you start Jones and Gravenberg because they both want to play in the same position, basically. Although Jones obviously is a different player to Gravenberg. No, I, I don't think Gravenberg plays on the right, so yeah. I don't think they both fit in together. No, I agree with that. Neil tried to start right. Bobby Clark, yeah. Uh, well, he's away, Neil, uh, so he's probably he's doing probably it somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> uh, someone he's in Atlanta, he's having a conversation with Bobby Clark. <laughs> the barman's like, who the fuck is Bobby Clark? <laughs> Why is this mad man who's really wet? <laughs> Why is he about? shouting at me about someone called Bobby? <laughs> <laughs> he's spoken for two minutes when I was away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is he Lee's lad? Uh, that's what the barman's trying to work out. He is. If you, if you want. They've stopped off in Newcastle on the way just so they can talk. <laughs> <about it. laughs> you know, you never should have let him go. Yeah. Uh, I mean, are you start Bobby Clark? Uh, well, on this on this basis, yeah, absolutely. If 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 if, 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 big, by the way. if for nothing more that we've got something to talk about afterwards. Um, no, I mean, Nunez for me, uh, that's this. It's 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 tailor made for him. I think a game of this of this magnitude. I think this. You know, it's 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 perfect. And given given that there's been so many kind of not not negative vibes but I think I, I, I've been hearing a lot of people who are sort of slightly starting to lose patience with him a little bit mm. now certainly in my kind of group chats and stuff no, people, similar, yeah. people are starting to go well come on like you know you, 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 you're constantly being found offside you're missing the target it's the it's the, it's the basic just stuff just the tapping just yeah, absolutely 100% and I think a game like this that is a bit of a free hit I think you start Nunez I do, I do like Elliot wide right I, I do like that and I think given that he's probably going to occupy that in in the next couple of games, I think it's I think there's no I think there's an argument that he he, he slots in there in this game to give him a little bit of a head start on that, um, and then left I just stick Diaz in it'll be fine. <laughs> as 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 you say, we for the first time in my lifetime I've never known so many attacking options. Yeah. I've, I've never it's 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 it's, it's new. It doesn't and actually I'm confident in whatever whatever situation it is, whichever players he picks. Yeah. The other thing about Elliot on the right, I suppose, is that you can play 45 of two and 45 of the other two and give Elliot 90 and do it that way. Is that, the, that, just to sort of keep them ticking over, keep them fresh, keep them both involved because yeah. they're all going to be they're all going to be big for the next sort of three six to six weeks. Mm. Aren't they? Is there is is there anything in Trent being on the bench and then coming on and having a bit of midfield time? It's a possibility with a bit of Trent, especially in when you were already wanting yeah, to give yeah. McAllister a bit of Trent, yeah. bit of Trent in midfield. Yeah, 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 yeah. Trent has six or Trent has eight yeah. on the right hand side. Happy with both of those. That 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 makes perfect sense saucy. to me. So saucy. saucy. On the big pitch. <laughs> <laughs> on the big pitch. The man only be that big. I'm just just saying it. <laughs> <laughs> I know we're throwing about four formations after they're watching for this. I doubt they are. Uh, <laughs> Go on, let's see who they're going to pick. You'll be so sort of confused. Is there anyone who, who, who you, you think, no, no, they think he shouldn't be involved in a bit too? Important at the moment, and you know, even for this one, and you know, we've talked ourselves yeah. into having a decent go at this. I think, but you it's, know, it's the fullbacks. Is it for you as it's, well? It's, it's well? just the fullbacks. Wrap them in. Wrap <laughs> Dad, Joe Gomez is now our most important player. <laughs> yeah. but, and, but also the player that I've. I mean, the the, the game at the weekend. I mean, unbelievable. Yeah. Joe Gomez has been fantastic. He really has been back to. Arguably, some of his best form, and really, I, I think he's genuinely playing the best football of his career. I, I, Possibly, I couldn't, yeah. I couldn't agree more. And in, and in all round wrong football. position, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he, but he, but he's never. I, I don't think he's ever played more than three games in a row for quite a long time. So yeah. I think on that basis, I think you've just got to wrap him in cotton wool. And Trent hasn't had a rest in God knows how long. I can't remember the last time Trent didn't play. Um, Was injury beginning of the season. Yeah, he didn't play against Gilwar. Against who? 
felt in the Olympics. Oh yeah, of course. I thought that that's completely yeah. slipped my mind. But apart Phil from just that, made up a yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 I mean, I said someone was going to come and talk down that quadruple. He's, he's doing it. I'm like saying I've never heard of the teams they won trophies against. <laughs> and what else called the beauty? <laughs> yeah, just just protect the fullbacks. I, I, you know, that's that's it. But like you said at the beginning, top of the show, you know, if you've got Virgil Van Dijk in the centre of defence, that that makes up for a lot of the the, the loss of. of defensively of those players covering. You know, you were talking before about FA Cup things, the grindy gears, Phil. Yeah. You know what annoys me? Go on. When people demand the shit teams are on the telly. Oh, man. <laughs> Trash on them. <laughs> I'm like, for everyone who wants Barn, I don't even know if Barnes are Some maids that are playing Steven, it's just people who think that should be on television. I think those people should be made to get a season ticket for maids than hang out. I completely, <laughs> honestly, I completely agree with you. Like, there's a, the Poor team, ITV, the team, the they team. get no football, yeah. they've lost the Champions League, <laughs> they don't get any further, then it's the FA Cup, they're like, right, you fucking hell, man, you're like, like, got him. Hip switch. And then you're like, no, you have to, <laughs> you have, to have a sh- one shit team, and they're like, we don't want him, but go, 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 it was not the most entertaining game of football, but it sort of it was quite intense. I think and more people would have watched it than would have watched. It was because it was a th- ultimately well, yeah. it was on a Thursday night, which probably got it more viewers than it would have done. Traitors has just started. That's, that's, uh, that's, <laughs> that's also when the IP. But the darts are finished. That's the yeah. key. That is yeah. the key. Yeah, yeah. Peak, peak, the, 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 the darts the come down. Ball. The darts come down was very active last night. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 <laughs> and to solve the darts, come honestly, down, when people. We're happy to watch Hodgeball. Yeah, when honestly, when Calvin Lewin got sent off, I just had to stand on the sofa and go, oi, oi, oi. <laughs> <laughs> Dressed as a crayon. <laughs> With a sign. With a sign of my Hodgson. Very huge. And I had off your pop, Dom, on a little, uh, little bit of paper that said Paddy Power. Yeah, honestly, let ITV show they want. Yeah, um, exactly. um, show games that they know people are going to watch. Yeah. They're like, we've got the ratings. We and know also, the yeah. also, the key part of what they do is that people watch so they can sell advertising money. So the eight people who are going to watch Stevenage versus Maidstone, you're not getting much in the way of ads. Well, no, I wouldn't have thought so. I wouldn't have thought so. That's something that always Do you think we're going to win here? Do you know what? I don't know. I don't know. And same as Phil, if we don't, it's not the end of the world. It is a bit so of a draw. At the end, that's yeah. bad. Oh, well, no, <laughs> I, I I'm so half a draw. By a draw so I, what so I know, I know what you mean. Are. Yeah, I agree with just that. Just to but. see what Jürgen does. Yeah, yeah. He just goes, no, I'm not just going. He'll melt down publicly and refuse I'm, I'm to play. Yeah. <laughs> I'm busy. Got Glad I've got South Africa. Nice. Yeah, yeah. I'm in South Africa that Tuesday. Got, got stuff on. You I said it was a break. Yeah, you told me to go on holiday. I've gone on holiday. Yeah. Bobby Clark can play. <laughs> <laughs> on his own. And he's the manager. Yeah. Yeah, I think we win. I do think we'll win. I, I, think, I think we're in the position where Arsenal are a little bit rocky at the moment. And us rocking them a little bit more will be a wonderful thing. So I think we'll win. I think it's more of an Arsenal thing than an us thing. Yeah. Because I think they've obviously they've lost the last two. Depends what they do with the team as well. I think they'll go strong. Like I think they, but at the same time, maybe they don't. Maybe they go, well It's a chance to have a look at something or like they've done a lot of Reese Nelson done a lot of Inketti in the last the last couple of weeks. Maybe they're like, well, you can start now. Because like at the end of the day, Saka, I, full of Dunning. Yeah, yeah. I think Saka looks a little bit tired. I think Martinelli looks a little bit tired. Jesus doesn't start the other day, so maybe they bring him in, but it, it looks like he might want to get some of his squad players and just freshen things up a little mm. bit because they look a bit like, it feels like they've just been playing, I think, what, like, certainly nine of the same players every week, mm. yeah. and then it's one of... And they've had they, the Champions yeah, League. Yeah, exa- exactly. They, that they look a, we talked about just yeah. before. <laughs> they look a bit like they might need a little bit of a breather. I know they're getting a week off after it and so on and so forth, but at the same time... Or less of it'll it. Still uh, Yeah. For me, it's a, it hinges on what the teams look like. I think there's a world where you look at the teams and go, OK, I don't fancy this. Mm-hmm. And there's a team right, thing where you look at the teams and you go, I really fancy this. And I know that's a bit of a shit house. No, it, it's fair. I just, think it's, I just think it's the most logical way of a, a, approaching this game in terms of, I'll have a really good idea of what will happen as soon as I see the team sheets. I'm, I'm I think with, that's fair. Right? Yeah, I'm with Phil. I, th- I, think, I, think, I think they take it more serious, given, given where they are, given the situation that they're in in the league. Given that there's been quite a lot of negativity around Arsenal in the press, and they need a they need a they need a win. They need they need to do something good, and I think I think we'll rotate more than they will, and I think they've got more of a gap a break afterwards. So I think I, I want us to win it, but I think they might just 
pretty sure they've got. I'm pretty sure they're in the second set of games as well. Got two so. weeks off. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've got to say they've, they've got a fortnight off yeah. now. That's it. I think. I think they take it more seriously. I think yeah. they can play pretty much full strength. And just, do I just realise there's going to be some teams who are off for like from the 13th until February? I think. What if you get because if you get if you get knocked out the FA Cup and you've got your game in the first week, I definitely going on. Your next game will be. <laughs> Yeah, it'd be like 17, 18 days between games, which is a bit, doesn't seem like a very good way of doing it, does it? That's, that's a long time. I'm really the problem with the in other countries, Germany, though, yeah. Germany's off for about another two or three weeks, I think, well, isn't it? Yeah, and, it's been, and it's been off since before. I did Christmas. enjoy the thing with Jane Sancho, where they were like, oh, they're trying to get it through so we can go to Marbella with the team. And I'm like, imagine going for fucking eating your dinner in the car for half a year. It's where to open Marbella with the absolute point. No, you won't, mate. And all the lads are still there. That's some swing, man, isn't it? And now that it's checked that your chicken's actually cooked. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, what a fucking swing. Um, hope you've enjoyed that. Enjoy your weekend, Jaden Sancho. Uh, hope, you're, hope you're in Marbella, you love the food. Yeah, in Lyricus. Yeah, you've you, you, you earned it, hon. Up to Reds, thanks to Erdinger. <laughs>